IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome back to another episode of Braves Beat. I'm Izzy Carroll. And I'm Ashwini Krishan. So, Ashwini, any plans for the long weekend? Well, Izzy, I don't know about you, but I'll be at the football game. Cheer on, on the Braves. Braves. <laughs> oh, what is that? Oh, Ashwini, did you forget that it's National Honey Month? Oh, yeah. National Honey Month is a celebration and promotional event held annually during the month of September. Its purpose is to promote the American beekeeping industry. September is significant for honey producers as it is the month that marks the end of the honey collection season for many beekeepers. That's sweet. You know what else is sweet? Mrs. Silvius's program called Experience Ships. Let's see what she has to say about it. Take a look at this interview she did with Gabe Oaks. Hi, I'm Mrs. Silvius, and I am here with the amazing Gabe Oaks to talk a little bit about experience ships. So, Gabe, I hear you did an experience ship this summer in an area you're interested in working in. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, for sure. I, um, I worked at the Marriott Hotel from end of, near the end of summer July um, until the end of August, or beginning of August, right before school started, and I went to um, hospitality management. So I was, you know, kind of talking to people, walking around. Um, just seeing how that was on a daily basis. Well, I don't want to embarrass you too much, but I'm going to share what your supervisor oh. had to say about you, okay? One of the best guys ever. Um, he was respectful, eager to be here. I have nothing but great things to say about him. You can send me five more, Gabes. <laughs> so why should uh, other students out there think about doing experience ships? Again, it was a great, Miss Silvius came to me. It was a great opportunity. Um, and I really wanted to make sure this is what I wanted to do. Cool. Well, if you want to get involved in experience ships, it's about time to apply. So there are lots of opportunities that are there. And in order to see those opportunities, the applications are available on September 6th. Apply by September 12th. And there's going to be a link in your class Canvas page. So students who are accepted into experience ships will complete some online training. And that training has you working on your resume, working on your interview skills with a mentor from the IH Foundation. So that's also an opera awesome opportunity. It only takes about three hours. And then after that, you get to see all of the experience ships that are out there, one, the one that Gabe did, but many others. So um, consider applying for experience ships. It's coming soon. Thanks. Wow, Gabe, that really seems like an amazing experience. Tell me about it. Now we have a lot of important dates to share with you all, and I'll let my spunky little co-host tell you all about it. This year's homecoming theme is 50s rock and roll, and the dance is on October 1st at 8 p.m. If you need service hours, we have decorating that morning from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., as well as cleanup after the dance. Movie night is on September 29th, and we are watching Grease. NHS and the Red Cross will hold a blood drive on Tuesday, September 6th. We are scheduled to be set up in the high school MP room for this drive. If you are interested in, in signing up to donate, please see the information below and use the link to sign up during lunch this week. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Mrs. Emery. Next, we will hear from Sydney Frost, who spoke with our new Dean of Students, Mrs. Lentz. Sydney? Hi, Braves. I'm Sydney Frost, here with the new Dean of Students, Mrs. Danielle Lentz. Hi, Mrs. Lentz. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. So, the, the Dean of Students is a new position. Mm -hmm. um, as you were a teacher before, you were my fifth grade science teacher. Yeah. How did you come to this position? And then, can you kind of also explain what the Dean of Students is? Yeah, so um, I have been teaching, this will be my 22nd year, and so teaching's always been my passion. However, um, in this district, I've had a lot of leadership opportunities um, with teacher leadership, so this is something I was always interested in, and taking, you know, and impacting students within my classroom, now I can impact um, K through 12 versus just, you know, fifth grade students, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so for those who don't know you or didn't have the pleasure of having you, can you kind of just also explain what you, what you did as a fifth grade teacher? Sure. So um, I came to Indian Hill um, almost about nine years ago and I was the science and social studies teacher for fifth grade and then as our class sizes got larger, I was one of two science teachers um, up until this past year. That's really fun. Um, my, I guess my last question is, is there anything else you'd like our viewers to know? Um, I am really excited to be um, reacclimated with all of my past students. It's a lot of fun seeing everybody grown up, and I can't wait to see you guys learning in the classroom. Thank you so much for this interview. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. All right. Uh, back to you at the news desk. I'm so glad to have her as part of our Braves family. 
Well, Double D over there looks like they're itching to get to the sports report, so let's let them get to it. Hello, Braves. We're the Double D sports team. I'm D. Devin West. And I'm D. Dylan Minocha. This week, we'll start off with volleyball. The Lady Braves stay unbeaten on the season as they defeated Cincinnati Country Day at home on Saturday. It was a great team win with a score of 3-1, to one, and a big shout-out to junior Dakota Spurrier, who led the way with 12 kills. Our girls' golf team's next match against Madeira is at the Little Miami Golf Course tonight. Good luck, Lady Braves. And our boys' golf team remains undefeated on the season against Seven Hills this week, posting a score of 162 at Shaker Run Course, led by Alex Hosoffel and Wyatt Higgins with scores of 37. The Birdie Braves are back in action next Wednesday against Lakota West. The girls' soccer team hosted Ross this weekend. Sophomore Anna Joseph helped the Braves with a goal assisted by senior Olivia Dowling, but it was a tight-knit game that ultimately ended in a one-to-one -one draw. Our boys' soccer team lost a tough one against Wyoming on Tuesday, 2-0. The lads hope to rebound in their next match against Dayton Carroll on Saturday at 7. Be sure to come out to Shawnee Field and support. Our cross-country team returns for their first meet this Saturday. It will be at the home of the Brave Park in Loveland, and the first race is at 8 a.m. Be sure to come out. Our golf tennis team competed in the first round of the t Team State Tournament yesterday against Miami Valley, and we will have those scores for you next week. Their next match is on Tuesday, September 6th, at home against Sycamore. The field hockey's team game got canceled due to inclement weather. They hope to keep their momentum tonight against Talawanda. The football team suffered a tough loss last Friday to Northwest. The touchdown came from junior Alex Grace to Daniel O'Brien. Legitimately get him to that spot and throw it up. Nice. Oh. Yes. Legitimately get him to that spot and throw it up. Nice. Oh. Yes. Dan O'Brien. Well, it looked like it might have been tipped. Yeah, O'Brien right. concentrated uh, and uh, walked it into his hands, and the Braves went. They look to bounce back with a signature win on Friday, where they will travel to Taft to take on the Senators. Braves Nation, let's ride. That's all the sports news we have for this week. I'm Devin West. And I'm Dylan Minocha. Let's throw it back to the news desk. Thanks, Double D. Nice job to all of our brave athletes. And remember, there's still time to join our IHHS Brave Strong Warrior Run team. All are welcome, so be sure to click the link in the description below to sign up. Hey Izzy, have you ever tried playing basketball blindfolded? Uh, no, I haven't. But here's a video of some of our classmates trying to. Oh, ah, Somos five star! Go! <laughs> Wow, I'm surprised no one got hurt. Me too. Well, that's all, folks. So be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian, Indian Hill. COVID influenced our school for two and a half years, causing nothing but low spirit. But COVID could not completely destroy the morale as we respected the mandates and we accepted all the adversity and change. And with that perseverance, our school proved excellence once again. We learned from the past to help the future. So with that, I would like to introduce you to the 2022-23 school year. This is the year that all your patience is going to pay off. Well, that's what I believe and think. Let's check in on some of your classmates and see how they feel about this coming year now. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm with the amazing Bobby. Now, can you tell the difference between the vibe, the high school, middle school? You like it? Oh uh, yeah, it feels a lot better, you know. But do you like the do you do you like the atmosphere though? Better. I do. I do like the atmosphere a lot better. I'm with Nate, right? Um, and I'm with Christian Mangana. Yeah, and he's a freshman. So, do you feel the difference between middle school and high school? Yeah, I would say so. A lot Good more. vibe. Good vibe. Yeah. What class are you nervous about? English. Yeah. No worry. What's what? What? What's one class you're nervous about? Uh, I'll say probably biology. Yeah. Uh, any, like, clubs you're planning on joining? Clubs? Yeah. Well, not at the moment. Uh, tune in next week on what clubs you should join. Uh, and, th and thanks our friend Frank. Is there any class you're nervous for? Not really. All right, well, you have a great year. You're going to rock it with that attitude. Yeah. Uh, but what clubs are you thinking on joining? Uh, maybe I run for community service, you know. 
Well, a man of the people. And this is this week's episode on Praise Feed.